let's read from spiritual and angelic guidance i'm here to do a reading for scorpio now this will be for the third to the 9th of january 2022 if you've seen my readings before welcome back thanks for the support if you haven't welcome to my channel i hope it resonates if it does please don't forget to share like and subscribe don't forget it's a general reading so it is not going to suit every single person out there so take what resonates leave what doesn't also time can be fluid and energy can be vice versa so keep that in mind okay one more shuffle for sport. Hey, Scorpio, what's going on with you? Okay. You have been through some sort of heartbreak and I feel like that could be due to your self-worth. Um, maybe you need to focus on your self-love. Um, maybe you both had a difference with values, um, expectations, that kind of thing. Um, and at the same time, I feel like, you know, it was you had to go through this as some sort of self-discovery. Um, you took this break and it was like a temporary pause to give you some sort of insight, some awakening. Um, you know, I guess you needed to do some sort of reflection and Figure out, I guess, what it is that you want, really. Um, because you were, I feel like, you know, you saw yourself with this person. And, you know, this person could be, you know, sorry for what they did. And I feel like you were good friends, um, you know. But in the past, they disappointed you. And, and you know, you've forgiven. You're moving on from that. You've also got the Sun card, so everything's going to turn out okay for you. So don't be too concerned. It's a great time of uh, a time of great joy and success. Um, plans working out perfectly, and somebody may want to come back and reconcile with you. But if not, it's you having some sort of clarity, forgiveness. You know, maybe you had a bit of a wake up call. It can be any of those things. Now, on the table, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. The Five of Swords in Reverse, the Justice card, the Ace of Swords, and the Two of Swords. You've got a lot of swords. Now, the swords are all about communication, truth, logic, all that sort of stuff. Um, okay, so we'll start with the Ten of Pentacles. Now, this is all about having financial security, peace and contentment in life. Um, it can also mean, like, you know, happy family life with, this, with the financial security. Let's find out some more information. Tell me more about this. Ten. New beginning. So if this person, maybe this person comes back and, and you want to give this a fresh new go. As I said, this was one of the last cards, right? So maybe you went through all this other stuff that I mentioned before, the heartbreak and all that stuff. And then the sun card and the renewal card you know, are letting me know that everything's going to work out and maybe they're going to want to come back because they've done that, the introspection, they've done the um, the reflection, they've, you know, they've done all of the, what they needed to, to kind of figure out what it is they wanted and the self-discovery, I guess. And, they, you know, they want to come back and offer you this financial security and, stability and they want to give you have a have a fresh new start with you or you with them you know 
and you know there is that chance of victory and success as long as you work together as a team um, and you know it's going to take strength it's going to take you putting yourself out there really to which is like the full card to kind of trust that you know this person is going to be different than last time um, and not cause you heartbreak again I guess we'll get some more information okay tell me more yeah, like they see you as their person. They see you as, you know, you're both having the same values. They see you as, you know, together you are a, a strong team and there's communication and affection, sexuality, you know, attraction, all those things, which is, which is good. And they want to have a fresh start with you. They're so cups. One more card. Yeah, I feel like they want to come in and give you, you know, this. Here they are coming in with the offer of being reliable and, you know, sensible, hardworking, trustworthy, devoted, you know, like. They want to come in and offer you that. I think they've realized by doing the work on themselves, I think they've realized that previously it was very toxic. And unless they make these changes, then I don't feel like you'd go back. But they need to they need to make these these changes so that it's not so toxic. And there they are wanting to reconcile as well. So I feel like, you know, there's that possibility of them coming in. You know, they want to make amends. They have the past resentment. They're, you know, they realize by losing you that things needed to change. And that's what they're coming in to offer you is all of this. You know, the finances, the security, the everything them as a changed person. They're even possibly an animal lover as well. Yeah, they're making a positive movement forward. Like, you know, they need to, they've realized that they need to make a change. They've realized that you know, they need to release like all those negative traits, negative things they were doing, the addictions, everything. They needed to make a positive movement forward. So they needed to make a change. And, you know, and I feel like they are, it's going to take courage and it's going to be like them recovering. They're going to, re you know, you're recovering from this loss. They're recovering um, you know, you, you thought you were going to get old together and it's like, um, disappointment. It's like, you know, as I said, I feel like you were good friends and it's like disappointing and you need to forgive. So they need to change their ways. But this is the same person, the person that, that was dishonest with you, that was doing wrong. And yeah, I just feel like unless they're willing to make amends and, and make changes so that they're not that same d deceptive person they need to make the changes or you won't I don't feel like you'd want to go back there yeah like it's going to take strength uh, things needed to happen there needed to be endings there needed to be transformation and if there wasn't then there won't be a new beginning there'd be an end and I feel like with the Ace of Pentacles, I mean, you know, you want to be happy. You want to be comfortable. You want to have an investment on and start afresh with someone that you know is going to... Things are going to be different. And it's going to take strength, like I said. Maybe the truth came out 
or they got some sort of justice or um, their karma. But everything they do, they've realized, you know, what you do has an effect and um, maybe they finally got that clarity, they um, communicated, they want a fresh start. Yeah, they want to make this positive movement forward, like I said. And have a fiery new passion at the beginning with you. They've got to make sure, though, that they release any negative thoughts and are open to new perspectives. They stop any self-limiting beliefs. They've got to stop being their, you know, the worst inner critic. And, I mean, you've got to also... If, if, if it's them that's done wrong then you need to also release those negative thoughts that you know they're going to do it again I guess because otherwise you'll manifest more of that you need to move on and leave the past behind because I guess what they're coming in to offer you is a firm foundation so I guess you either trust that or you walk away really that's your choices you've got to you've got to believe in this person that if they've done the work they're changing they're showing you that they're a changed person give them a shot yeah, what are they manifesting? What are you manifesting? It's all a spiritual lesson. Whatever you've been going through. And I feel like just work on yourself. Like I said, care for yourself. Work on your finances. Being more financially independent. Um, but, you know, in the end, I think follow your heart. Um, don't listen to other people. Just kind of, you know, when they come in wanting to reconcile, maybe just... I guess don't pretend there is no problem you and and don't try to overanalyze. I feel like follow your own heart and weigh up your options. I feel like you do know everything. Um, you're going to be hesitant. That's going to be completely normal. You know, like you've they've been you've been disappointed. But, you know, in the past, it, you really need to do some contemplation. Like, really think about it, you know, because you felt exhausted with all of the stress and, and possibly had health concerns and everything because of this, this person in the past that you don't want to walk away from. But if someone does make a change is determined takes the action they can be successful you just need to make sure you work together as a team as well and you know i feel like yeah there's reconciliation again i mean in the end i feel like someone sees maybe they see you as their person they see you as their their soulmate Maybe you see them as your soulmate. I don't know, but I feel like whichever, whoever it is, it's like. There was another reading that was similar and I feel like it was Aquarius. Like if this person's willing to, yeah, it was Aquarius. If this person's willing to change, like there is hope. Just work on your self finances, your self-worth, focus on your self-worth, your self-respect. Figure out who you are as a person, what it is you want. You need to detach from, you know, the negativity of, um, like, as I said, I feel like limiting beliefs, you need to release those. Normally, if it's, you know, if they're not changed, you need to detach from someone that is like the devil. Um, and I guess at the same time, you need to release those, the fear and the... Um, worry i guess that it's going to happen again and and you really need to trust your intuition i mean scorps are pretty intuitive scorps are pretty psychic you know like you'll know i feel like you'll know if someone's doing wrong by you so yeah you need to trust and if you need support from other people ask reach out you know what i'm saying um yeah let me see if I can get one more card. But I feel like mm, I feel like you do need to trust. 
You might have kids with this person. Um, yeah, I mean, if you go into it, you need to keep an open mind. You need to give them a shot, as I said, like if, if that's what you're willing to do. But in the end, it's up to you if you want to reconcile, really. For some of you, no. Some of you don't want to reconcile. For some of you, you know, release your ex. Maybe that's what you need to do. It's your choice, as I said. Like on the, the Two of Swords. In the end, your choice. Let me get one more card. Yeah, you've got to transform. I mean, someone has to change. And they have to change. You have to change. You have to stop doubting. You have to work on your fear and your confidence. Um, as I said, you need to transform for your self-worth and your self-confidence. And they need to transform on behalf of them, you know. And see the truth. See it for what it is. They need to be honest and come in. Otherwise, it will end in a loss. All right, that's what I have for you, Scorp. I hope that resonates, and if it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you with the next read. Thanks for watching. Bye.